they face in life. What era was this? The 60s? This is in the late 60s. Yeah. I mean, late 50s. And and up to, I'm born in 67, sir, and so far I think I'm the youngest that's been found. That's the problem. We're still trying to find everybody. We think there's pretty much between 100 and 200 only, and we're asking for assistance for the rest of our lives. We're the only country that has not supported this because it was not FDA approved or whatever the organization was in this country, but it was passed out to the doctors all over the United States. Thank you for being here. Thank you. And let me just say briefly, I remember this. Most of us who were alive at the time remember this. And it was a terrible tragedy that occurred when a drug that was prescribed by many doctors to pregnant women turned out and created birth defects among the children. It was a, the worst possible thing to can imagine happening to a family. I respect the fact that they had the courage to be here. And let me also say it led to an evaluation by our government about the Food and Drug Administration and what standards they were using. The standards are simply safe and effective as advertised. Yeah. So if it says it's going to cure something or prevent something, it does. And they can prove it clinically. And there are lots of things you can buy as an American that are not tested the way these drugs are tested since. And it is up to you as a consumer to draw your own standards as to what you accept. But when it comes to this situation, we have a responsibility and we did not do it. I'll be happy to this one. Thank you, sir. Thank you, too. Thank you. My name is Mike Foley from East St. Louis, Illinois. Get out of here. <laughs>